as you may know, um, knowledge is power. And um, nowadays, we are in a, a kind of society where, here in Cameroon specifically, where, um, where uh, knowledge is kept by some people and no one, know, no one wants to share knowledge, the government, the power, doesn't want. So uh, it's very important to have some tools to share all kinds of knowledge uh, for people and to, to uh, applaud their uh, ability to become, to act uh, with consciousness. Through our experience, we saw that uh, kids, most of them were involved in our project, were really proud to have some knowledge and to share the knowledge we transmit uh, to other people. And uh, now uh, it's quite, it's very interesting because it's completely independent from us. Then um, the, the kids are able to speak with their parents, they're able to speak with their teachers, they're able to speak with their friends, uh, not about sport, not about football, or about uh, the, the, the good um, car someone has, but about um, something uh, on the heritage, for example, and uh, they can share it, and they know that they're part of some, some, some trajectory in history. Uh, another one is about water, water in the city. We have uh, involved uh, uh, some kids, well, youth, um, in collecting uh, data in their own neighborhoods, and uh, they had uh, in that experience of collecting uh, data, um, better knowledge of um, who is the neighbor, their neighbor, how they live, what kind of difficulties they have, and they had uh, they they kept uh, a very good uh, idea of their um, uh, poverty and the, with data, you know, and now they are really aware of um, uh, the way they live, the way all of them live in the neighborhoods, and how they can try to change or to ask for uh, changes uh, to uh, improve their uh, environment and uh, their uh, facilities.